Welcome everybody to Love White Battlegrounds and we're here together. Uh, my name is Super Rogue and uh, with me is Flopine. Hi everyone. And uh, yeah, we are ready to watch this very interesting match between Pestis and uh, Blackwall. Two seasoned uh, coders, uh, both known for uh, doing shader stuff in the 4K and the shader showdown. So having them battle it out, oh, it's going to be tense. Are you? Five, four. four, three, two, one. Let's go. And yes, I am excited and ready. <laughs> so am I. So am I. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, very interested. We haven't seen both of these contestants uh, in Byte Battle. Uh, so very interesting to see what, uh, what they are up to. Wow, so bad. these two are going fast. Both of them. <laughs> Sorry, uh, just a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they type fast. <laughs> yeah, they definitely don't waste any time. It's it's 30 seconds in and, and they're already clicking and clacking away. <laughs> Aliasing sign functions left and right. So black hole seems to make an array. Yeah, it looked like it. Yeah, L is an array and it's getting filled with sign functions. Of T plus I. Yeah. Yeah, with points I guess yes, on yes, X it's and it's Y. The list of points. And pestis. hard to see what, what this is going to end up like but there were at least three valuables that get uh, well, I, I, so maybe something 3d maybe i don't know in the w i think it will look like a uh, plasma maybe a bit oh my what? oh what the what the <laughs> what happened <laughs> wow <bestie. laughs> what is this magic oh my that's so quick! What? Wait, yeah, we're, we're 23 minutes, what, two minutes in? What is this voodoo magic? <laughs> oh, and uh, oh, whoa, 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 oh, pesties. already. Oh, that's amazing, keep it like that. Okay, you're done. <laughs> I, I love it so much. Yeah. 22 minutes of just sitting back and uh, cruising it out. Yeah, we'll oh have to see if, if this is what's on screen after the two minutes. Um, yeah, this is where 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 like a bite battle is completely different from a shader showdown because it's so quickly something on screen to work with. So, yeah. wow. Well, I would I would argue that in shader showdown you can have something quite quickly on the screen if you don't do remarching. Right. Yeah. Correct. I guess if yeah. you do two D effects, you can end up with something quite quickly too, like a, a pattern that is displayed on all the screen or something like that. But wow, that's beautiful. I actually like the black and white here, but. Yeah. Yeah. Waves. Yeah, definitely. Also sticking to the team. Yeah. Mm. <gasps> I thought pesties would uh, start with something that looks like a bit like a plasma because he nested his sign. Yeah. In the W. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks very plasma-like, but. It, yeah, it's, it's definitely not that. <laughs> Used for, for motion. Yeah. Wow. It almost looks like leaves a yeah. bit. Leaves in the wind. So meanwhile, black hole also on the way. Yeah. Uh, coloring these. This is... It looks like warms now yeah. a bit. <laughs> Nusan would be proud. <laughs> oh, yeah, already amazing. Oh yeah. And that's after four minutes. What? Yeah. Mm. 
Let's, I, I, uh, I'm, um... Uh, oh, yeah, okay, I was about uh, to also say, black I can't or, wait to see what uh, Black yeah. will do. Yeah. Also very quick, right, uh, what you came up with. Oh... They strike hard, those yeah, two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed with both effects. And it's only been less than five minutes. Absolutely. Yeah, putting points in uh, in, in in some kind of list array and then and then connecting it up with lines. It seems. Mm. Doesn't seem like uh, an efficient way to draw something, but I guess that's the the easiest. And maybe she will find. A way of crunching those bites. Yeah, but, but this, yeah, this is definitely going to cost characters. Yeah, she's over the limit as well. But of course, still early. Uh, twenty minutes, a bit mm. less than twenty minutes to go. Oh. I um I uh, loved the first version with just lines yeah. on, on the black mm -hmm. uh, yeah. background from Pestis, yeah. but uh, it, it still impressive. Yeah, yeah, it was very artsy like that. Yeah, and also black hole, uh, also very impressive. What's on screen mm. right now? They both choose the same uh, palette for now. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, no custom palettes here. Just uh, Sweetie sixteen and uh, using the same color range. I guess for the theme waves might be enough like yeah, the, yeah. the bluish tones in the palette is already quite appealing yeah. Okay. yeah they absolutely fit so um oh wow. did black hole erase everything what what, what happened? happened i don't know maybe oh maybe again a, a crash yeah Yeah, sometimes these uh, these fantasy consoles. So um, yeah, Flopping, do we want to talk a little bit about fantasy consoles? Meanwhile, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, the what you're looking at is two coders writing a language called Lua on a t the TKT, which is a fantasy console, an open source fantasy console, um, in which you can create like demos or even video games because it embedded uh, pixel drawing um, uh, software and also uh, sprite sheet uh, gestion and also even the tracker. So yeah, you can basically do everything in it. Yeah. And uh, it has a sweet palette. I really love it. Mm -hmm. And right now, uh, our two coders just code what color should be each pixel on the screen. Yeah. So, more like a shader or a demo, a classic demo. Yeah, correct. But sometimes these uh, fantasy consoles, uh, and especially in Lua, they can sometimes crash out. I mean, uh, not all division by zeros are caught. So, yeah, sometimes you're you're out of luck. And it looks like this is the case for, uh, for Black Hole. So I hope she's mm. uh, yeah getting back uh, up to speed quickly. I hope so too because yeah, Pesty is already quite ahead. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. it's tough. So yeah, Pesty uh, is from Finland. Uh, his favorite uh, platform is uh, PC, uh, Windows more specifically. Uh, he likes the element of surprise. So uh, especially with live calling to see like 
how just tweaking a few values can just change the whole effect and, and, and we definitely see that uh, happening here. Also active in the demo scene for about 25 years, but uh, yeah, only on, in the more recent years starting to be a bit more serious about the, the demo scene. And uh, other hobbies include ukulele, which is also a hobby from exotic car and I happen to know, as well as running. So that's so cool. And favorite demo uh, is massaging, which is absolutely a great one. What's the platform for, for this demo? I don't know. Uh, it's, a de it's a PC demo, I think by Far Browser as well. It's mm, okay. really, uh, really nice. So yeah. His favorite Sweetie 16 color is uh, number 15, which happens to be like a dark gray. Flopin, do you happen to have a favorite Sweetie 16 colors, or do you love them all? I love them all. You know how, how much I love rainbows. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Pesty uh, putting all the colors of the rainbow. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> this with the, um, yeah, the blue and orange purple tones always work nice together. Yeah. I love that combination as well myself. But also the gray. So basically all colors except for the greenish. Yellowish tint. Oh, you don't like the greenish? No, well, it's not, I mean, it's in pesticide effect, so it's basically all colors. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm not a fan of <laughs> those as well, particularly. I, I just like the, uh, basically all the colors that uh, Stace is using at the moment. Mm. Uh, I find it harder to uh, to match those colors in, uh, in an effect. So the, the, the movement on Pesty's side mm -hmm. seems more smooth. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, definitely yeah, less chaotic. Doing a print statement right now, Under the Waves. Oh, wow. Really connecting the theme here. Under the waves, and, and actually the print statement is also behind the uh, the wavy thing. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm not sure I would have chose the blue uh, mm. tones for the background. Right. Yeah, it's wave, so maybe it's an uh, underwater theme. Yeah, I think Pestis is already trying to crunch down the code at 259 at the moment, so still... Yeah, if you want to include a print statement, it's, it's going to cost some bytes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, putting it in a load function, so this is a wow. trick to make code very hard to edit. A uh, uh, bit less readable, but it saves a couple of bytes. Bestest, oh. <laughs> okay, you're now sh just showing off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly ah, yeah. a 256, it seems, yeah. He has to sign his uh, work. Yeah. <laughs> it still looks like he's searching for it for some stuff to optimize. Just going mm. through the code, back and forth, seeing if there's something you can still clear out. Yeah, but there is still uh, more than 11 minutes, yeah, so... Yeah, there is time, uh, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, putting so many bytes on, uh, on, the, on the printed text. <laughs> yeah, and Black Hole also, uh, she, she's absolutely uh, back in the race again. Uh, yeah, I really mind. love her effect. Yeah. That, but that might not be easy to crunch, though. No, it's gonna be hard. So yeah, Black Hole, she's from Canada, and uh, her favorite platform is Linux. And uh, she very much likes the performance aspects of building something from scratch uh, in a short period of time. Um, 
He's been involved in the demo scene for about 15 years and then in 2008 he got a bit more uh, serious. Or I mean six years and then like the last couple of years uh, just more serious about it. And we've seen that a lot, people just uh, being on the fringes of the, uh, of the demo scene and uh, before dipping in. Plus it can be quite intimidating from uh, the outside I can imagine. Yeah, and also I guess uh, well when you're from Canada, right? Uh, like going to Europe for some demo parties can be hard. Yeah, <laughs> Money speaking. Yeah, it's definitely a commitment. No doubt about that. So her other hobbies include writing, drawing, 3D model, and cryptography. Um, and uh, her favorite demo. Uh, is timeless by the movie. Very much like the purple color in the Sweetie 16 palette. Oh, I like it too. Yeah, me as well. Like the, the, the whole purple, orange, uh, yellow is just, just really sweet. So, Pesties, do something. There's still nine minutes. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, <coughs> following your advice and just chilling out. <coughs> that looks he's still uh, looking for stuff. Mm. Yeah, I know I'm tough. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm joking. It's, it's yeah, this is going to be hard. If he, if, if he wants to add anything else, he, he's got to get rid of the print statement and, and use it for something else. So... Yep, yeah. that's uh, that's a choice to make. And Black Hole seems to tweak the the animation yeah. a bit. Oh yeah, of yeah. her rotating lines. That's really sweet. I really love this. Yeah, it gives it a more uh, yeah better flow. Uh. Mm. Maybe to stick a bit more to the wave uh, theme. Yep. Yeah. With a flow like that looks like maybe something a C could do. Yeah. So Black Hole's uh, favorite book is Ra by Quantum. I don't know that book, but the title is interesting. <laughs> also, shout out to Ra by uh, to Ra from. Uh, I think it's a French profession as well. Uh, favorite movies is Summer Wars. Oh, that's a good one. And she said, I recently bought uh, trip pants and they are fast becoming the backbone of her fashion sense. All right. I don't even know what trip pants are. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can understand that. Are you? Uh, I want. Yeah. I want one now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Black O. Time to crunch the bites a bit, maybe. Yeah, six. Yeah, um, six and a half minutes ish on the clock. There's still room, there's still time. But mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like Pestis at least is kind of pleased where he's at at the moment. Which I can understand. His effect, yeah. yeah, his effect is really, really clean and beautiful. Um, it's just like the time management, at least to me, is also an important part yeah. of those. And not not only for saying that you should be done under 25 but also to keep the show going yeah the whole time yeah I <laughs> which is I did, difficult yeah i just things. really like to iterate a lot uh, in my effects because uh yeah i, I don't like to over prepare as well so uh, there's still like a lot of flexibility in where where it can end up uh, But, you but yeah, it's a, I guess it's a trade-off between uh, yourself that wants to be 
perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and yeah, and yourself that just want to give a good show for the 25 minutes of all. Yeah, I just uh, I really like when uh, I mean if there is time, I just like to iterate as much as possible, and maybe accidentally I stumble upon something that's really good, and then uh, go with that. Um, yeah. But if you stumble upon something that looks really good to you, like in uh, 15 minutes, mm -hmm. you still have 10 minutes to go. Do you still improve or try to? Yeah, sometimes it's just. Um, um, I mean, at some point you gotta have some idea of, of what you want to do, but then um, yeah, all these details can go anywhere basically i mean maybe uh, adding some color may make it more beautiful or uh, doing something with the motion that makes it uh, and um, yeah i just like to run with that in, in the in pesty's case maybe doing some like getting the print statement off yeah and adding a gradient with the skyline tricks yeah Maybe the the bytes used for mm -hmm. the print would be enough for that. Yeah, yeah. I'm the last one to speak about it because I usually like to include some kind of print statement. But yeah, mm, okay. not, probably not as much as this. But uh, yeah, there's there's no shame in leaving it like this. I mean, it it, it looks no beautiful. No. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Black Hole, she's still over her limit, so. But I, I like the clean, not clean, but um, like simple aesthetic yeah. of it. I think it, it fits well. Yeah, she's still going all over the place, so with three and a half minutes on the clock, it's going to be tense. Yeah, yeah. Those, those bites will not be easy to crunch, I guess. Yeah. There's still a bit room there in the code as far as I can see, but yeah. And she's not over by much. I mean, 262, that's, that's very manageable. Mm. But still, soon uh, yeah. under three minutes. Ah, it's not that much. <laughs> but it looks like she's still tweaking the effect. Until the end. <laughs> Ah, two bites, black hole. Let's go. Should be doable. She's still tweaking. I guess maybe maybe it's for uh, keeping the most of her effect while crunching down mm. some numbers. Maybe could be, but still looks like she's she's searching for something. Mm. You're still adding variables, still so uh, yeah. Delicious. Yeah, two minutes left. This is gonna be tense. Yep. <sighs> Sorry, my my cat. Yeah. <laughs> Wants <a> hug. <laughs> we all want a hug, Flopine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. In those dark times, we all need hugs. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Soon, just one minute left. Yeah, I think Pestis is uh, is pleased where where he's at. Black of still searching, yeah. still a bit over limit, but yeah, still doable. But yeah, she she gotta crunch it down right now. I mean. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. one minute yeah. left, almost. It would be a shame if she uh, kept uh, above the limit. Go crunch. <laughs> and also I, I'm um, like all the code is uh, used for the effect yeah like there is not like a print that mm -hmm. can be just right. wiped off so yeah. 
I'm kind of worried for Black Hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she... She might be oh, able no, to... No. Maybe she is oh. looking for those final bites. Oh, 30 seconds. Oh no, this would be a shame if, if she would be over the limit. Yeah, oh. 20 seconds to fit. No, 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 no. Just stack some variables together. Oh. Uh. oh, no, 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 oh. Oh, I can't handle this. Yes, and these are the final seconds of the match. We're almost there. Both effects looking really great. Really like the uh, color scheme that Pestis has uh, going. Uh, Black Hole still struggling, still a bit uh, over limit. Um, however, we've been uh, told by uh, uh, Havok that the Tick 80 uh, crashed halfway. So Black Hole has been giving uh, a little extra time um, to make up for the fact that the uh, Tick 80 crashed. Yeah, I can understand that. So please bear with us for uh, a few more seconds and see if she can still complete her effect. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, looks lovely so far. Uh, yeah, still well on the way. I really like the uh, orange and blue tints of the of Pestis effect. Mm. Uh, and uh, especially the... Yeah, let's watch this for a bit. I do like how the text is uh, layered and different. Yep. Yeah. And now also black hole within uh, the byte limit. I'm not sure exactly how many, uh, how much extra time she got, but uh, I think it will be enough to make up for the. Uh, Oh, this looks nice. Yeah. yeah the changing speed of the lines uh, really gives the effect a bit uh, more, makes it more dynamic. It's almost like lightning bolts. Yeah. I really love her effect. Yeah, still well within limits. So yeah, um, I think both uh, candidates, very nice effects, really hard to call. So uh, it's up to you guys to pick a favorite. Um, go for Pestis, go for Black Hole. Uh, give it up for both our contestants. Yeah, they fought well. They fought very well. <laughs> okay, see you guys. And girls. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Everybody else. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs>